Hi, I'm Sharon and welcome to Knit Style. Hi everybody and welcome to episode 136 of Knit Style. I can't believe it's 136. Next time I record it will be my five year potiversary because I started in January right after my birthday. I believe I will look up the date next time I record. Anyway, let's get some business taken care of before we start. Firstly, I will be attending Vogue Knitting Live this coming weekend. I am leaving in two days. I'm super, super excited. I am staying right there at the Marriott Hotel for three nights, and I'm sharing a room with a dear friend, and we're going to have a blast. I'm really looking forward to it. I am taking three classes. I am taking a shawl design class with Susan B. Anderson. I am taking a lace and cable repair class with Romy Hill, and I am taking a dyeing class with Felicia Lowe. And I couldn't be more excited about those three classes. Perfect classes for me. So, yeah, so that's, that's this coming weekend. So if you see me out and about, Come say hi. I'm going to have minis for you guys. So I will give you guys a mini if you say hi and recognize me. I love meeting new people. That's pretty much why I do the show because it's just a lot of fun meeting knitters and crafters. All right, so that's that. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the giveaway. So I did a drawing for the Holiday Cal and I had... 30 finished objects, beautiful things in the finished objects thread. And the winner is post 15. Congratulations. And that will be Dueling Needles, Rhonda. And it was so funny when I pulled your name today, Rhonda, I realized it's your birthday today. So happy birthday, Rhonda. <laughs> you won a prize. So congratulations, Rhonda. And again, happy birthday. And you have won this beautiful skein of Knit Style Yarns in the Charmander color. So contact me via Ravelry and give me your address and I will send you this beautiful skein of yarn. So I also picked a winner from the Chatter Thread. I had 33 people chatting in the thread and the winner is post number six, and that is CK. And CK, you have won a pattern. So just let me know what pattern you would like, and I will gift you that pattern up to $6. All right, so that's the giveaway for the Holiday Cow. Beautiful things in the Holiday Cow. I loved all of them. I'm sorry, I don't have a lot of time to chatter on Ravelry, or I would. I really would have done that, but I feel like I'm working three jobs. <laughs> And I don't mean, I'm not complaining at all. I, I'm really enjoying everything I'm doing right now. But, you know, with my full-time job, this recording thing almost feels like a full-time job. And dying between those three things, I have very little time to spend on the internet. I try, but chatter in the groups is not what I'm doing right now. So, sorry about that, guys. Anyway... Okay, so that, that was the giveaway. And the next thing I wanted to talk about is, I wanted to talk about iTunes. So as of the end of the month, I will no longer be uploading this show to iTunes. There are many reasons for that. I pay for hosting and I really don't feel like I'm getting my money's worth because I have to compress the file so much. It uploads as a very awful looking video and audio and that's not really what I want out there. So until I find a free option, the show will no longer be uploaded to iTunes. So the next three shows will be, but after that, no more iTunes. And I apologize for that. I'm trying to get a solution to that. And I am going to be talking with some tech savvy friends this weekend, hopefully at Vogue Knitting Live, and maybe I can get that straightened out. So, yeah, there's that. And 
maybe I'll do a quick YouTube tutorial this month just to show you that YouTube is pretty easy to use once you kind of get the ins and outs of how to navigate it. Let's move on quickly because I'm recording this late this week and it's, yeah, I just want to get it done. So let's talk about what I've been working on. Okay, so the main thing that has been consuming my life, I'm sure you know, is this stunningly gorgeous shawl. <gasps> Look how pretty. This is Nuvum by Martina Bem. And you can see I have started the bind off. Yay, I'm actually almost halfway finished, which is super exciting. So my goal was to finish this by Vogue Knitting Live and I succeeded. It's beautiful, look. Look at those collars, it's gorgeous. This is my own hand spun yarn and the fiber was Into the World. It's a merino, superwash merino and silk blend and I spun it into a lace weight and knit this beautiful wrap. Hopefully it will be, be big enough to wrap. <laughs> I won't know until I finish binding it up, but it looks, looks like it'll be nice and long so I could wrap it around and it's funny this morning when I was getting dressed I was looking in my closet and I, I have a fondness for small shawls and I was having a hard time finding a shawl big enough to ward off the cold because it's very cold here right now and I came up with this one this is my Juneberry shawl in this is uh, Miss Babs Yowza in the Blue Ridge colorway. So that's what I'm wearing today and it's kept me very nice and cozy and I need more big shawls because I don't wear them really unless it's this weather but it's gonna be this weather for the next six weeks or so so I'm gonna be knitting more big shawls. Okay so the next project that I started is an obsession. And notice I didn't say cast on, because I did not cast this on. I chained it. So, <clears throat> by now, and especially if you've followed me on Instagram, you know that this is not a knitting project. This is a crochet project. And I am completely obsessed with it. And I haven't gotten it very far because my entire crafting time has been consumed with Nuvum. So I'm really looking forward to casting off Nuvum so I can devote more time to this project. But this is the Granny Stripes Crochet Blanket. And I looked at the pattern uh, by Attic 23, but I can't read crochet patterns and her patterns are uh, written with British crochet terms, which I don't understand at all. So my friend Donna helped me with the cast on with this. And this is how I, what I have so far. So I've decided I want to just use neutrals, brights, and pastels for this. I don't really want any dark colors in this blanket. And I have plenty of minis and I dyed up some more which you'll see in a minute so it's also going to be a throw size so I don't even know how long this is I don't know um I had to measure in fact let me measure right now hold on so I just measured it and it's about 30 inches wide so I will probably make it about 48 inches long ish we'll see how far I get and it's just going to be a throw for me. And it's just beautiful. I just love these color, this color palette that I started with. So I went through all my minis and I separated them into lights and darks. So 
lights, brights, and then darks. So these are all my light colored minis. And I did some math to figure out how much I would need to make it as long as I wanted it. And I need, I was short like by two skeins. So I dyed some. I pretty much just threw some colors together that I like and I did two bright skeins and two more neutral skeins. So I had two skeins of yarn and I split them in half and I had one sparkle skein and one plain skein. So I dyed this half a skein, a sparkle skein in this like neon yellow pink color. And then this is a plain skein, two ply. And this is like more of a pinky orange with a little bit of yellow. So that was fun. I'm super obsessed with gray right now. So I dyed this dove gray skein with some colorful speckles. And then I dyed this other dove gray with different colored speckles. So I had a lot of fun doing that over the weekend. And I love these gray ones. I might do this one as a regular colorway because it's pretty and I love it. But look at those beautiful speckles. So fun on the gray. A really light gray. Really pretty. So yeah, let me know if you guys like that. But these are all going in my blanket and I'm super excited about it. So these are my bags of light and neutral minis and brights. I'm calling this my rainbows, lollipops, and unicorns blanket because it's just these happy colors. I mean, it, it could be for a baby. <laughs> I might just give it away someday. I don't know. But I just want to do it because it's just so fun and happy and I need these colors in my life in the winter. So that's really fun. So this project, or the minis anyway, are living in this beautiful fat Squirrel Speaks bag that I got at SSK in 2014. And I love this bag. It has moose on it. And when I went to organize this bag and kind of clean it out from odds and ends that it had in it, I found a missing skein of yarn. <laughs> this yarn was supposed to be for my big old coat and if you remember back in the summer when I was finishing that I was missing a skein of yarn. I found it. So I had gone to the LYS and bought myself another skein but I didn't need to because it was here but I'll just take this one back. So oh well. I have another giant bag of dark colored minis and I'm gonna start another one of these for my husband because I think he would love oh here's a bright one I don't know I might use that in my anyway he would love a blanket for downstairs so I have plenty of dark mini skeins that are going to be more of a darker toned afghan. So I've decided to abandon my cozy memories blanket and I've also decided to abandon the barn raising squares blanket because I definitely wasn't enjoying the barn raising squares blanket at all. I only did three squares and they took forever and it's just I just wasn't enjoying the process. So that's why I haven't touched it in about eight months. And then the Cozy Memories blanket, I like a little bit better, but it's gonna take me a lot longer to do that than these. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to finish that off into a dog blanket. <laughs> so here's what I have so far with my Cozy Memories blanket. It's fun, it's okay. But I think this would be a perfect size for my dog. I have a toy poodle, and so I'll just add two more and then just make it a nice rectangle. And I have plenty of minis to do that with, and that'll be fun, and then it'll be functional, and it'll keep her nice and warm in her crate because she loves her crate. And I'll just put this in the bottom, and it's 
super wash yarns and I can just throw it in the wash when it gets dirty and so this is gonna be for Lily and I think she's gonna really love it so I don't feel bad about you know starting a project that was supposed to be a bigger project and that I'm not gonna finish it's pretty much it I the only knitting I've done this whole week was on that Nuvum and then I started a little bit of that crochet that's it that's all I've done because that Nuvum took up so much of my time I counted the stitches and I told my husband last week that it felt like it was 4,000 stitches it's not 4,000 <laughs> but I counted them and it is about 2200 all the way around with the ruffle so that was a lot of knitting the only other thing I have been doing though crafting wise I have one more thing and as you know, I got a blending board for Christmas. Rich bought me this, and I absolutely love it. It is so much fun, and I really think I'm going to get some use out of it because I really enjoyed working with it. And yeah, these are the dowels and the, the brush, and it works fabulously. It's just a wonderful blending board. It's the Ashford and it's made in New Zealand and I just love it it's just beautiful wood grain I mean it's really great so I've made three sets of roll logs the first two were because I put too much fiber on this thing so last week after I recorded with Rich I did another set and uh, instead of putting two ounces on which is way too much I put on one ounce and it was perfect. So I made these and they're really pretty uniform. Some of them I've been spun a little bit on, so I love them. They're so fun. Yeah, these two haven't been spun off of, these two have. So I decided, it's only an ounce. So I decided that I would spindle these. This is a Jenkins Egret spindle. I have never, I spun samples on it, but I've never done a whole project on it. And it's beautiful. It's, it's actually maybe a little over an ounce, but it's big and it spins really slowly. So it's perfect for making thicker singles. So you can see my singles on here are very thick and low twist. It's just perfect for that. And I'm really, really enjoying it. And it has spiders on it, which is one of my favorite animals. I love spiders. My apologies if you don't. I enjoy them. I think they're cool animals. So I love this spindle. So I'm really enjoying this project. This spindle is made out of honey mesquite and it's awesome. It's beautiful. So, you know, I'm trying to get a little bit done. I don't know, here and there, because like I said, time. But I will finish these roll logs on this. I'll make two turtles and ply them together. And I'll just have a big lofty yarn it's probably going to be maybe 20 to 40 yards it won't be much it's only an ounce of it's only an, so it'll probably be like 25 yards or so because it'll be a bulky which is fine i can make a stuffy out of it or just swatch it make a pretty wall hanging i don't know we'll see but like i said love my blending board and i have plans for that blending board in the coming years or whatever i would like to spin up some more lace weight for another shawl project because I enjoy lace weight and I like spinning it and I like knitting with it. Some people do not enjoy lace weight. I love lace weight. <laughs> so the only other, I have two more things to talk about. I want to talk about things I've been dream, dreaming about knitting. Next in line to cast on is a shawl for my, shawl, is a scarf for my husband because if I call it a shawl he won't wear it. No, he won't care. Anyway, out of these two colors, so I'm going to knit another Vulpix from Stephen West. So I'm looking forward to that. But I have been seduced by the Find Your Fade Shawl. 
Of course I have. Because it's fabulous. It's a great stash buster, <laughs> number one. Number two, it's just amazing. So these are the colors I have so far. I'm not sure I'm crazy about this green here. I may switch that out. I'm getting another order from Wool and Vine Yarns this week. So maybe I'll switch this one out for another one of hers. And I have this one of hers. I ordered another one of these because this one is going in my Find Your Fade shawl. It's I Am No Bird. And so I'll have a little leftover from this and then I'll use the other one that I'm getting to knit a bigger wrap with, which I'm super excited about. So I think these are beautiful. So I'm super excited. And I think I'm gonna cast this on and, and knit it during Vogue Knitting Live. And maybe I can switch this green out when I'm there. I don't know, we'll see. I thought it called for eight colors, but it only calls for seven. And I had another one in here in Instagram, which I didn't wasn't crazy about anyway. So we'll see. I'm just gonna cast it on and see, see what comes. It's actually this way. This gold is first. So we'll see what comes. And I'm gonna have leftovers in these skeins because you only use very little of this first. But what I'm thinking is with the leftovers from these two, I'll make a shawl from these two. So I'm excited about this project. I'm really super excited. I love all these neutral colors. I'm really into neutral colors lately. Well, except for that blanket. <laughs> I'm into all the colors, let's put it that way. I like color. So, so yeah, I'll have that bright, crochet blanket. I'll have this, which is like more neutrals. And then I'll have this beautiful, like, um, these are more warm colors. And then I'll have this shawl that, that's kind of like cool colors. So my color cravings will be very much satisfied by my knitting in the next month. I was going to start a sweater but I'm gonna hold off on that. I'm just so into knitting shawls lately. I love knitting shawls, so I had to cast on Find Your Fade, I have to. Speaking of color, there will be a very large update this week. It will be tomorrow, Wednesday, January 12th, 2017. And I dyed up a whole bunch of Fallen Fairy. And I have it on, this is a sparkle base. I have it on the, um, I have it on the trendy base, which is a sock, uh, 7525 Merino. I have it on my cashmere MCN base. Merino cashmere nylon base, which I love this. It's so soft. I love it. If they don't sell, I'm keeping one. And I also have it on my two ply, the chic base. So I have it on four bases. And so you'll see that update tomorrow. And of course I have to try new colors and I wanted to try a brown. So I have one on a two ply, one on the cashmere, and one on the four ply. And I did a brown. And it's got a little pink in there. And this one is called Stranger Things. I named it after my favorite TV show of 2016. And it just kind of reminds me of the color tones in that show. And if you've seen the show, the missing boy tries to contact his mother using Christmas lights and it's got some it's got some speckle in there that reminds me of that. So yeah, this is my Stranger Things colorway. And I don't know if I'm gonna be dyeing it again, so get it while you can. <laughs> So that is it for the show this week. 
I will be vlogging Vogue Knitting Live like there's no tomorrow. I will not be uploading those vlogs though until the following week because I am not bringing my laptop down to New York City. I just don't want to drag it. And I'm not going to have time to edit there anyway. So the show will all be edited next week. So probably one more, one right after the other. So you'll s watch for those next week because those should be fun. And then I want to record an episode on Monday, which is a day off. And it's also my birthday <laughs> that day. And I'd like to get Rich to join me. He said he would. So we'll see. We'll see how the day goes. And that's yeah that's gonna be the recording schedule for the next week so there's lots of content coming your way and look forward to that so like I said after this month no more iTunes uploads um, everything will be on YouTube and the quality is much better there's much more content on YouTube because I don't upload the vlogs or anything or the tutorials or anything like that on iTunes because I just don't have the space so everything will be on YouTube from moving forward after January 31st, and you'll find me there. So with that, I'm going to end the show. I hope you guys have a good week. I know I will. Cheers. <laughs>